To move, 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 move. Get out the way, me and my crew, 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 crew. I'm in the club, so I'm gonna do, 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 do. Just what I really came here to do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah, and it goes on and on and on. Those of you that are here not for this actual purpose, uh, uh, I'm William Short, and I'm here with the Short Circuit Dream Fund. Uh, we're a registered Canadian charity that grants dreams to critically ill children, and tonight is a dream presentation to another child. It is actually Maria, and she's right here. Yeah. Everyone like Maria? <laughs> Good job. Uh, <laughs> well, William at home uh, would uh, be quite talkative, and you know, part of the family and so forth. And, uh, very uh, fun job to be around. We got thrown a little bit when we he started going to school because his teachers kept saying that he in school he wouldn't talk, he, he wouldn't speak and uh, that continued right up through school until uh, um, like even he'd get there on the phone with his friends and couldn't carry, he was so shy he couldn't carry on a good conversation over the phone with his friends. Uh, but when he got the idea of the charity in grade 9, um, it went with it. It was all of a sudden like he had a purpose to talk. <laughs> and uh, he's gone, he's presented to, to gymnasiums full of students and rooms full of adults. And uh, uh, he's got the passion. Uh, my name is Melissa Russell. I actually met William through his brother, who's my boyfriend. Um, I met him about two years ago. Um, the first introduction I had to him, basically, I was kind of wowed by him. Um, it's like 17 year old kid who makes the rest of us look bad. He's super kid, he's got his own charity, his own business, and he's, he's just helping other kids for, just for fun, that's just what he does, you know, and he's, he's kind of a good role model for me, and I'm way older than him, and I kind of look up to this kid. After much genie deliberation, you were selected as a top 10 hero. Quite an accomplishment, considering how many nominations you received. Now, if you get the most votes, one of you will receive the $10,000 grand prize during our Heroes All-Star Gala tribute in January. Bring it. I took, I this took is God right here. <laughs> <laughs> it's him. <laughs> Sorry, Richard. <laughs> if you won the, the $10,000 from the, the genie, what would you do with it? Lots of things. Uh, I know so much of it would definitely go straight into SCDF. Uh, we'd I always wanted to be able to fund a drink myself. I've never had the ability to do that. And uh, I think it would be, it'd be great to just you know, take that cash and uh, go straight into it. He's, he's a young kid, he started it when he was 15. I mean, like, what, what kids really think about doing that with their extra money, you know? It's just, he's, he's wicked, he's, he's a great kid. He spent his first two years bef uh, with the charity before it became registered as a Canadian charity. He raised fifteen thousand dollars in his first two years. Mm -hmm. He's now granted eleven dreams, which are roughly about two thousand dollars each or so. One of them was four thousand uh, dollars. And despite the fact he's granted eleven dreams, he's still got fifteen thousand dollars in funds. So, like, basically, the process of granting the dreams has been paying for itself. I really can relate to how hard it is to start a charity and how hard it is to, you know, to, to know that there's something in your heart that you need to do and even though, you know, you don't know why you're doing it sometimes, you got to keep on doing it, so, um, keep on going. yeah. I think it also uh, speaks volumes to Marie too that in, in, her, in the dream that she wanted, uh, she wanted TV for her room. But she just didn't want to stick with that. She wanted something for her family. And uh, I think that really speaks a lot about Marie, that she was thinking of her family. One of the things I would suggest they do is think of, you know, where their heart is, you know, what it is they want to do. Um, and also realize that as you do it, um, Recognize that a lot of things 
come out of it. It's, it's the, the, the satisfaction of helping other people and also recognize the effect that you have on other people. Uh, that's probably one of the things that I see uh, behind the scenes um, and that I've noticed even from William's school that he came up through uh, is that William's influence has caused a lot of other youth to start thinking of doing things. And we have uh, the experienced genie here tonight. Uh, you might have seen him on TV, he's usually wearing a blue mask, but he's actually right there. Genie pose? Or just want to just make we're doing the news? Oh, there you go. Oh, that's a good one. He's cleaning it in, he's intense, he's engaged. Yeah. Good. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Genie. Hi. 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 Still won't 